This is Eternal Blade, welcome to part 42 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. And we were working on the textures. So, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to dirty this up a bit without causing a ton of problems. And the only way I can see to do that is using a dirt map pretty much. So. Let's go online, um, go to Google, and let's just type in dirt map. That's a pretty cool one. It doesn't have to be particularly big, just big enough. Um, save it to whatever directory you want to save it to. Alright, come back into Max, go to Color, Bitmap, and you'll find it wherever it may be. I place mine here. So you can see we have this kind of cool thing going on. And also, for the noise, or the bump, sorry, um, change this to a Bitmap and use the same one. Bring this back up to about not one uh, point point two looks pretty good. And hmm, lighten it up a bit. Um pretty sure it does something. Let's render this out and see what we get. Alright, that's getting somewhere. We have the tracks looking kind of nice, but I wish I could randomize them a bit. This thing is looking pretty good, but we'll give that a UVW map. So select this tube thing, barrel, go to UVW map, and just do a cylindrical. Alright, and then go into the textures here. And <coughs> oops, that's what I want. Diffuse. I think tiling about point three. What this should do in both both U and V, what this should do is spread it out so you don't have the same re repeating things like on here. It should make it bigger, I think. covers it up much better, but, alright, next let's, we'll increase the bump again, it's not enough, so let's go to 0.5, actually, we'll just try one, for the heck of it. see what will happen here, and let's, um, lower the reflectivity, glossiness. Because while it is metal, it's not a very good metal. And then change the bump to 0.5 as well, so it matches up. Or at least it's kind of close to matching up. Alright, let's see what we get. sun determines what color it is, so therefore if you lower it, it should become kind of, it should become more about that, I keep pressing F9, but it doesn't work. Let's raise the ref 
reflectivity, or the glossiness, actually. Not quite that much. It's a very fine point to where it becomes overblown. to make them kind of grayish, both of them. And then just to give it, well, we'll see what that does. I'm just not getting the texture right here. I'm trying to get some reflections in the metal, but not too many, or else that bump map will start causing problems. You know what? I think that's pretty good right there. That'll be our metal texture. You could do a lot of different things with this, but I don't like texturing, so I'm not going to do them. Um, let's actually deepen this green a bit here. And give it at the same bump map. And let's see what that looks like. Render it out. Lighting setup is pretty much ideal for um, clay renders or just outdoor things, but that's good enough. And we'll do one more texture. Um, it'll be blue. Kind of a light sky blue here. We're going to want it to be a little bit translucent, just put that on. Okay. Turn the reflectivity up. Glossiness is good. Um, it's not a metal material. What we use it for is just these little eyeball things. There's one somewhere else too. That's good. Yeah, there's one in there too. But I just want to test it out over here. So, render. If we're lucky, it won't be in shadows too. And it's kind of good. Um, there should be a self illumination somewhere. Let's just go to gradient. Um, okay, and actually, let's lighten this up a bit. What does it do? Nothing. Let's just see how that looks. And that's going to be it for texture. I don't feel like doing it anymore. <laughs> but you get the idea with those materials. There are a few settings, a lot of tutorials online you can follow. Um, yeah, probably just deepen the blue, find out how to do self illumination. We're really good to go. That'll be it for part 42. In part 43, we'll continue the modeling.